Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Ashton Corners. We are going to start planting some corn today. Uh, we have finally reached the uh, final stage of planting, or final time of planting, however you want to say it, I guess. Um, we did take the cyclo planter in, and we got it... Uh, set up with liquid fertilizer in it so we are ooh, we are taking out our grass field a little bit here uh, so we are currently putting down liquid fertilizer uh, wherever needed We might uh, might be looking into ripping the either ripping up the grass or putting grass in this the rest of this field here this next season. But for right now, we definitely want to keep it. Uh, we may look at picking up some more land and putting in more hay uh, after our harvest. This guy is what we need. So I am changing up the video schedule. Um, we can actually pop over and take a look at it here. So here is our schedule for the month of April. Uh, today is April 1st that you're seeing this video. So for this weekend, we are doing Ashton Corners, and then we're going to do five days of Edgewater, and then on weekends, we are going to do American Truck Simulator, and then we're going to flip-flop, so one week is going to be Edgewater, and then come the weekend, it's American Truck Sim, and then the next week is Ashton Corners, back to ATS, Edgewater, ATS, Edgewater, ATS, so on and so forth. So... Um, <clears throat> that's just kind of a look at how we're going to be running the videos here now, uh, at least for now, maybe we'll change it up next month, we'll see. Uh, I plan on recording a lot of videos ahead of time, um, with the way spring is coming so far, I want to try and be a ways ahead, because I never know when, uh when the time that we can get in the fields is going to come. And as soon as that time comes, we're going to be hitting it hard. And I will not be having time to record any videos uh, whatsoever. So, um, I mean, my plan is I do want to look into getting a GoPro uh, at some point or another and talking to my boss and seeing if I can make videos um, at the farm so we'll see about that at some point um, but yeah come spring we're gonna be hitting it hard uh, I mean we still have a bunch of snow they're talking snow next week again uh, another like foot so we are getting very 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 behind right now on spring work so the sooner that we can get into the fields, the better. Um, and like I said, once once we're actually able to get into them, <sighs> excuse me. Uh, once we're actually able to get into the into the fields, it is going to be all hands on deck, and it is going to be go go go. Um, so, it's going to be a crazy and hectic spring once it comes. But I will keep you guys updated. Um, and once spring hits, if we get some time where we get rained out, I'll try and get a couple videos out. But we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. So, 
So I did get our oats field all finished up. And, uh, or our soybean field, sorry. Uh, our soybean field is all finished up. And I got the drills cleaned up and put away. So this is all we got left with this tractor for now. Uh, is just get this corn planted and then this tractor can get uh, put away and it can sit for a while. And then, uh, then we'll start making some hay over, uh, we'll probably jump forward to May, May or June, and we'll start putting up some hay, um, maybe late May. Uh, I mean, our hay is ready to cut, so we might do it in May, and then we're probably going to get our slurry tank out, and, uh start spreading that on the hay ground because if we take a look here we are getting pretty full on slurry we got 97,000 liters of it um, I did just give the cows some more TMR I see they will need some straw at some point but we do need to get our Angus cows out of there and get them up here to our freestall barn um, that way when they start calving, they are going to have the calves up there. And then, uh, we'll let the calves stay in that barn for about two months. And then we'll get them kicked out of there and down into our calving barn, or our calf barn. And they can stay there for about another eight months. And then, uh, then they'll go in with the bigger cows again. So let's pick up this last little bit and then we'll jump over to the next strip. This tractor definitely struggles pulling this up these hills. We're not even going to bother with folding it. We're just going to run right down over here, so... There's no traffic on this road. So something that we may look into in the future is purchasing another uh, yard. And then, uh, then we'll be changing up how we uh, do our cattle a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll still be keeping our main dairy cows at uh, the dairy yard there. Those are always going to stay there. But then uh, the way that we would do it is in the winter time, our, well, we'd probably run our Angus cows, you know, let's say we bought that yard over there. We'd probably run them over there. When they calf, we would bring them, we would bring the calves into the uh, calf barn like usual but then instead of our calves going uh, back into the freestall barn with cows the older calves are just going to stay in the freestall barn until about the time they start calving and then they'll get kicked out to the uh, area where the rest of the cows are Pop this up here, let's see. Okay.
So we're definitely using up some of our fertilizer. Let's take a look here and make sure that, uh, okay. So we are gonna be good and fertilized. Because if you guys remember, uh, when we spread this field with the spreader, it kept jumping back and forth between getting it fertilized to the perfect amount for the grass and then to the field. So our nitrogen levels are kind of all over the place. So yeah, this weekend, so today and tomorrow, we'll be uh, working on our corn ground. Um, today we'll probably uh, work on the seeding, and then tomorrow we'll work on rolling, and I'll finish planting off camera. And then uh, when we come back uh, in a week, we will be putting up some hay uh, and then I'll get the cows moved off camera as well so that way that's done and then we'll be working on uh, making some hay we're probably gonna start off the first cutting we'll do uh, we'll turn into silage so we'll come in we'll s uh, cut it and then probably rake it we'll see and then we will um, be going and chopping it and then putting it in our harvestors. And then in May, we are also going to have to do some spraying. We're going to have to spray the, uh, corn and soybean ground and I think our oats actually I'm not sure let's take a look here how does our oats field look so we don't have any weeds in our oats so we'll see we might get some we might not we'll uh, find out And once we've finished our first cutting of hay, then we'll go through and we'll uh, spread our slurry on it to bring up our, I believe that adds to the nitrogen. So we'll bring our nitrogen levels up then. I did not think that uh, doing these dual tanks like this for the fertilizer, I didn't definitely did not think that it would uh, give us over a thousand gallon capacity. But it did, so we've got a uh, good amount of fertilizer on us. We're going to run out of seed before anything.
The nice thing about these strips is it doesn't take a whole lot to get them done, but it definitely takes a while to get up this hill with this tractor. I did see that a update of the UMRV map is in the works. Uh, DJ is making it so that the map makes the alfalfa and clover uh, work with any feed wagon and it registers as grass and hay. Um, so that'll be pretty neat. Um, Maybe once that comes out, maybe we'll uh, look at setting up something on UMRV, maybe on weekends instead of American Truck Sim. Maybe we'll uh, um, maybe we will be instead doing a big time operation setup on UMRV. be running a uh, giant dairy and giant crop farm. We'll see. Uh, we'll just kind of see how things go, I guess. I know uh, also uh, South Sask Modding announced um, the changes coming to uh, Edgewater on his Facebook. So they are getting close. Um, he did say he took a new job, so that's been taking a lot of his time, which is understandable. Uh, personal life kind of comes first, so uh, maybe we will be seeing that soon. Uh, it'd be nice, too, uh, if Giants would kind of hurry up on uh, releasing BC Bueller's uh, Soaring Eagle drive over jump auger. Uh, definitely in getting anxious for that. Uh, that would be very nice to have. And then uh, they did also just release yesterday, I believe, the swathing add-on is on the Giants Mod Hub, uh, making it so that you can swath crops on any map. So um, we may look into that in the future. Because then you also have the Macdon pickup header, this one here. So this is kind of the more PC version. Uh, it's the exact same, though. Only this one only works on Edgewater. So if you do download the Swathing Pack, you have got to download the Macdon pickup header. And you have to use this one. You can't use the regular uh, pickup header um, because it will not work. So maybe we'll be looking into doing that in the future as well on this map. Uh, and it makes it so you can swath wheat, barley, oats, and canola, I believe. So definitely a nice thing. And then uh, I know BC Bueller has a update to his Swather Pack coming as well. Uh, that is getting released when the update of Edgewater gets released. Um, he has it set. So now there is two versions of the big uh, Swathing header. 
Um, one of the versions you can use on your hay fields now. And the other one, uh, it only does the crop ground. So like uh, now, if you guys remember on our Edgewater series, when we're swathing, we get the little grass bits in there. That version of the header will eliminate it doing that. And uh, then you'll only swath crop. So then it won't mess with things anymore, which will be nice. So before we start on this next strip, we're going to um, fill the planter back up. enough room to get our truck in here all right now <laughs> trying to figure out where the truck is oh it's still sitting over here going to oh no we've got enough seed right now so let's just run down here and fill it up now what is that field there it's a hayfield. Oh wow, that's a big hayfield too. I know I've had issues with this planter in the past. Okay, it is going to let me fill. It's going to be in a weird spot, but it works nonetheless. Why do you, why do you want to be stupid here? There we go. I'm assuming that we're full now. Close enough. All right, let's continue on our way. get a good start to this strip before the uh, episode ends today. So over this weekend I'm hoping to get quite a few videos recorded. I do already have a couple of the Edgewater videos recorded. Uh, gonna work on a couple more. And then, uh, <clears throat> we've got uh, a bunch of work to do here as well, so hopefully we can get a good uh, majority of our things done.
I don't think that we need to put any fertilizer down for our other field over here. Nope, that's fully fertilized. So we won't uh, we won't use any fertilizer on the other fields this season. Um, next planting season, our fertilizer is going to be strictly with the planters. Um, we're not going to spread our fertilizer. We're only going to use our cedars to do it. So, that is kind of the plan, anyways. Come on, girl, you can do it. A little bit further. Perfect. Whoa. Easy now. Trying to take as little of our hay as possible. But it is still taking out some bits. So then depending on how much uh, silage we get off of our first cutting, we may do a second cut for silage, but uh, it'll just kind of depend. We want to get a large amount of silage because we will burn through a lot of it. So we want to definitely get quite a bit uh, stockpiled. Almost hit the truck there. So we're just going to go ahead and finish this field today. Because we've only got one more pass left anyhow. This cab definitely could... Uh, use some updating. It's still the same old cab that it had in, I think it was like FS13 that this tractor came out. Not a lot of detail back then. But now there's a lot more detail on tractors, so it'd be kind of nice to see this uh, freshened up and brought up to 22 standards. Could definitely use some freshening up, that is for sure. 
but for being something that's come from FS13 all the way now to 22, it uh, it definitely could be worse. That is for sure. Here we are at the end, finally. Looks like our, I believe that's wheat, if I remember correctly. Yes, our wheat field is looking pretty good. So that is good. Alrighty, folks, that's going to do it for today. Um... I'm going to go finish planting, and then we'll come back and do some rolling. So, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, folks, we'll see you all tomorrow.